Hi there, you're in the lab with your mate JJ. Today is uh, our interlude, it's just a silly little video. I was uh, recording project 10 for the Maxitronics 10 in 1, which will, uh, sorry, the Maxitronics 20 in 1, uh, the Sensor Robot 20, which uh, will be coming out tomorrow, the video. Um, and while I was making that video, I had to make uh, a cable. Well, what I actually did was I, uh, I attached some uh, banana plugs to the end of a um, a, a, of a microphone, so I uh, um, I had to go at that, and that's what this video is about. It's just me making a cable, or as I should say, uh, attaching banana pro plug probes to the end of a microphone. So um, in the end, uh, I don't have much success. I, I go through the whole process. I have various attempts. Uh, then in the end, the, the 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 connections were really quite flimsy. They weren't good enough. So what I did was I snipped off the uh, banana plugs that I install in this video, and then I tinned the ends a little bit, and I used the screw terminals to attach them instead of banana plugs. So um, this video is just an interlude of me trying to figure out how to attach uh, some banana clubs plugs. Uh, if it's anything at all, it's a, it's a, it's a it's a, a lesson in what not to do. I honestly haven't figured out. Um, uh, ha uh, how I should really go about attaching those uh, banana plugs. I, I might do some research and, and, and see if I can figure it out, but uh, I try the ferrules and that doesn't work, and then I try some spade um, crimp lugs uh, and that doesn't work, and then I um, bend the crimp lugs in half and try to screw them in uh, mechanically, and that doesn't work. And then the final thing that I do is I I, I drown the, the 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 lug in solder, um, and that did kind of work. Um, but then the mechanical joints were no good on the particular application. So I, I think I did successfully uh, attach the uh, banana uh, uh, terminals uh, uh, or plugs. Um, correctly in the end well I wouldn't say correctly but certainly good enough um, but then it wasn't the right tool for the job anyway so um, look that's all this video is just documentation of me having to go up making a cable uh, and I'll return you to our regular scheduled programming uh, starting tomorrow I'm back now I was going to take you and make a cable um, but I've decided not to um, uh, the cable that I have um, the problem is the terminals are a bit loose in the sockets, um, but what I'm going to do to fix it is just bend these, uh, bend these out a bit. So uh, let's just bend those together, and then it should sit a bit more securely in the uh, in the socket because uh, it'll have better friction uh, when these are bent out just a little bit more. So we're just going to bend our banana plugs a bit uh, and then they'll, they'll sit better in the socket. Uh, and I'm just learning how to do that most effectively here with my uh, tweezers. These tweezers are great but I've really been hammering them and I've managed to damage the head of this one. And I've got my damaged kit indicated with uh, 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 this um, uh, green and gold um, electrical tape. Uh, I damaged the, the, the cutters here and I damaged the tip here and I just remind myself which ones are the damaged ones so when I have a rough job to do I use the ones that are already damaged so that I don't uh, damage all of my equipment just the stuff that needs to cop it occasionally. So this, uh, this ought to be good enough now uh, that we can use it to uh, actually you know what we could do what we could do is actually put uh, the banana plugs on the uh, on the microphone let's do that let's do that all right so uh, we'll just do it together now and we'll do it on this video why not so uh, what we need is um, banana plugs and we've got black and we've got red. Um, there's no reason to use black and red because uh, this thing is not polarized. So let's use some other colors, huh? What have we got here? Let's see what we've got in the drawer. I've got all sorts. I've got those. I've got those. These are small ones. They're not much good to us. 
got a bag full of red ones there. Uh, there's again some small ones. I'm not sure why I've even got those. There's some black ones. Some red ones to go with those black ones. Uh, again, three mil. I don't know why I have three mils. Uh, there we go, some multicolored ones. Very nice. Uh, red and blacks again. What are these? Multicolored again. <clears throat> and there's some of the red, black ones to go with those red ones. And, uh, oh, there we go. We've got uh, screws. That's good to know. Very good to know. All right. And then there's a bunch of loose stuff in the in the container here. There's two, four, six, eight, and two, four, six, eight. Ah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Shall we pick red and black? I suppose we could pick red and black. Why not? Which ones will we use? How about these ones that are loose in the drawer here? Yeah, let's do that. So, uh, there's one red one, and uh, one black one. There's one red, one black. <coughs> Since we're here, we might as well just fix this up, huh? So, um, that's all well and good. They're not all together, are they? I don't know why some of them are... Uh, taken apart just organizing my stuff those over here I'll just uh, snip that off there's a sh sharp edge on this cut him off all right. Yeah, so wasn't that disappointing? I suppose you don't know yet, but I, uh, before I made this video today, I was working on the inaugural J-Car Mini project, the first one. And uh, the equipment that I bought from J-Car for the thing uh, arrived damaged, and I'm going to have to get it replaced. That's pretty disappointing, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Speaking about disappointing, with uh, we're light one uh, terminal. So we've got a plastic bit but no corresponding metal bit. Oh well. So um, let's put this useless stuff in the back. We don't care about three mil. I suppose if you if you if you needed it, you needed it. And we've got colours, that's good. And then we've got uh, black and red. That's good. And again, black and red. Also good. And then um, no, more of these colors. Then we've got different types of colors. Uh, and then we've got a bag full of mixed red and black. And then we've got a bag full of um, uh, screw... Uh, things and we might as well put all of this together into a bag I've got a bag let's use this bag and we'll just uh, put these guys in there and I suppose there's no reason not to include the loose one which is missing a metal corresponding metal bit uh, anyway so, uh, oh shit, just dropped them on the floor. Can't take me anywhere. Now, I just want to confirm um, when we uh, uh, take out, oh no, there's one more bit for the, for the bag. When we unscrew these guys, we should find that there's a um, there's a bit, and there is. You see, um, there's a hole here and a hole here. 
um, and I suppose that that you can use the uh, the screws to put one in that way and one in that way, and then together that will uh, hold the wire in place, won't it? I think that's the theory. We might try some of our our, our ferrules. Ferrules. I haven't uh, I haven't had the opportunity to use a ferrule before, so maybe we'll give that a bit of a go. Now uh, we're going to need four of these. That seems like rather a lot. Let's try and see if we can get away with just one uh, each, because I don't think I've got enough screws to be using two each. All right. Well, we got way more of them than we needed there. There's two, so let's just put the rest of these guys back together. <sighs> All right. Oh, what did I do? I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So uh, let's just get a little screwdriver. This is a little screwdriver. I'm not sure if it's a little enough. Yeah, it's not little enough. That's okay. We can we can do littler. Here is an even littler screwdriver. Let's see if that'll work. Looks like it. So let's use the um, the one that's furthest out the back here. Now let's put this guy in there. There we go. Now let's just tighten that up a bit taking back a bit and then in a bit yep that's going in just nicely good so let's put the other one in for the other side now I'm pretty sure it doesn't really matter which side we connect to uh, positive and which side we connect to negative for this uh, microphone now let me uh, just show you what we've got uh, when it comes to wire for the microphone this things coming out there and it's just uh, some uh, some tinned uh, hookup wire on the ends there so we're not going to need to s switch that much um, now what we're going to do is use the um, the ferrules and the crimping uh, tool to put some uh, ends on these. So what we'll be using is these, and we need something which will fit. I'm kind of liking the look of these red ones. Uh, yes. I like the look of those red ones. What do we think? Put that in there. Oh, I'm not sure actually. Maybe we'll go smaller. Uh, what about white? How about white? Yeah, I think white will, will, will work. So we might as well use the white ones, I think. Now there's a crimping tool that comes with this kit. That's what we're going to need now. So uh, we only need two ferrules. These are the ferrules. <coughs> now, I have never used one of these before. Um, I have crimp crimped one. I did a test crimp once, uh, but I've never done it for real. So this is the first time for me. In we go. I'll put that wire right in there. Give it a really good squeeze. And that's... Uh, that's connected. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Put that together there. Put him all the way in there. Give him a really good squeeze. And that's connected. So we've got one, two. Excellent. Now, I'm just going to have some of my coffee. All right. So, um, uh, 
we just need to uh, to put these together. You know, I, I might actually be better served using the bottom one. I'm not completely sure. Yeah, I'm going to try the other way. Let's try that. Yeah, let's try that. All right, so we take this guy out and we'll put him in at the other uh, the other end. Now there is an argument that we could use um, two uh, screws and I, I would like to do that. It's just that I don't have any spare screws and they only seem to give give me enough screws to put uh, one per socket. But they do give you two holes to choose from and I wonder if that's just because you might want one or the other or if it's because really I should use two. I don't know. Anyway, we'll put this one in the in the small close closer to the front. Ah, there we go. All right. So let's squeeze this thing right in there, all the way in. There we go. And then we'll tighten this up. It's not working very well. I think we might need both. Let's pop the other one out and just see how we go. And a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, isn't that what they say? So even if we have to use a few of our screws, <coughs> oh, that fell right apart. Okay, this is not really what I was expecting. Yeah. I wonder if maybe you even need a bigger crimp in there, I don't know. <sighs> what about a feral on a feral? That'd chock it up a bit, wouldn't it? I'm not sure what we should do. Got various solder lugs here. <clears throat> Maybe we could use one of these spade bits. Hmm. That uh, blue spade bit is too big. What about the red spade bit? It's also too big but we might be able to get away with a yellow spade bit if we have some yellow ones somewhere. Is it the yellow ones which are the small ones? Or are they the huge ones? Here's some yellow ones in this kit. They look big, don't they? Oh, there's some small red ones. Yeah, good. All right. Let's see if we can get that one in. Yes, we can. Okay. Well... Maybe we should try that. Let's try two of these. So, uh, I'm not sure how to crimp. Uh, these ones. But, uh, should be able to just put that in there and then crimp it. So, uh, I'm not sure exactly now. This is a connector crimper. So, uh, I'm not real sure how I do it though. I have other crimping tools. How 
how do you crimp something like this? I'm not sure. This is the crimping tool for uh, for red. So maybe if we just put him in there and crimp. I don't know. What do you reckon? Just give it a mighty squeeze. Well, it seems to have worked well enough. Let's do the same thing on the other one. And uh, put him in there. There we go. An almighty squeeze. Now we've got uh, two spade bits. All right. <clears throat> so uh, I don't know how that'll go. Let's try putting one of these screws in. Screw that in. All right, it's not really tight at all. <sighs> so, We're going to try with two screws here and see if we take it from each side, if it provides enough friction to hold it in place. Seems to be working. Yeah, that, that works. Okay, fine. We'll just give it a really good tighten up here. Uh, give that a really good twist. I don't want to thread it. All right. So let's say that's uh, that's black. How did we do? Not good enough. That screw is sticking out too much. And we go right in. There we go. Now, how's that going to go? Push him in. There we go. <sighs> Not sure what, what's wrong there. if I can take that one out. And then just put this one right in. No, that's rubbish. It's gone all the way through. What about on this end? I uh, I could really do with a course on how to assemble these banana plugs. <sighs> Dear me. Just trying to get that screw in there. Yeah. All right. Put this all the way 
yan. No, that's rubbish. <sighs> Just not good enough. So I'm really not sure what they expect. What do they expect? What about if we just bend the lugs around? Can we do that? Maybe we can. Let's uh Let's try. So we'll take him there and him here and just give it an almighty bend. Bend, bend, bend. Bend. Uh, well, that'll make it bigger. And we'll do the same on the other side. There we go. Bend, bend, bend. increase the size of the thing maybe if it's increased enough it'll uh, it'll hold let's try put that in there <sighs> all right here we go let's see if there's enough uh, material in there for the screws to take hold Now I suppose uh, using both screws would be a belts and braces kind of measure. But I'm not sure if I really have the screws to spare or not. I think that screw is now sticking out too much and I won't be able to get the thing on. Uh, I'm going to need another screwdriver. What happened to that other one? What about him? Will he go in there? Not quite. Ah. Wow. Well, I suppose we could try, but I don't think it's going to work. No, it's not going to work. When they're bent in half, the uh, the screws go too too high. There doesn't seem to be any winning. I wonder if I could just solder them. Shall we try just flooding the thing with solder? I'm not sure what to try next. I'm going to turn the iron on and uh, get him warmed up. All right. Well, I'm going to try putting a bunch of solder in there and see if that will hold it. I, uh, I don't. I don't feel like we've done a very good job here. Alright. 
I might, uh, I'm going to put a screw in to hold it all firm while we do the soldering. So while my iron weights up, I'll get this in here. Actually, that looked like it might go in far enough to actually work. We'll see if we need to take this out later or not. Alright, well, let's see what happens if we dump a whole lot of solder in there. That iron on? Not sure. Alright, in we go with the iron. And now we're just going to need a bit of solder. I'll get the solder out first. Alright. So this thing's going to get pretty warm. Put them in there. Now let's feed some solder in there and see what happens. See what happens when that cools down, if it if it'll hold or not. I don't know. How hot is it? Pretty hot. I don't know how strong that is. I don't know if it'll uh Seems to be okay, doesn't it? Let's try the uh, let's try the other one. I'm not sure if this is going to work the same way the other one did. It seems to be a bit too uh, out. But we'll see. I'm not sure what's happened there. Feeding that solder in again.
see if we can uh, tighten that while it's hot. <sighs> Let's try putting this over the top and just see how that works. No, that won't work. So, to take you out, not sure how hot this is. Yeah, I've damaged the thread. through let's just see man I don't feel like I've done a professional job here at all there we go it's not too hot so let's just hold here there, give him a good squeeze. Hold him there, give him a good squeeze. All right, well, I'm not sure what to tell you, but I've got those terminals on. I don't know how secure they are. Don't know. And I used one of the screws. One of them is spare. So one of them's got a screw for support and one of them is just held together by solder. Oh well. Let's just put our tools away. And I suppose we'll just use these things and uh, if they're not uh, strong enough, we'll find out in due course. So here are the screws. I'll just uh, put this one back. I uh, I might uh, I might might have been well served to do some research about how to put these together um, before I had a go at it. Um, I might do that later on on YouTube. See if I can get some instructions about how to put together a banana plug cable, because uh, I guess I'm really only guessing. I I don't know exactly uh, the best way to make these cables. It's all a bit of a mystery to me. The feral crimping didn't seem to help much, did it? Uh, anyway. So now we've got a microphone with banana plugs on the end. So we should be able to take out the circuit. And plug in the microphone. Now the colors don't matter but there's no reason not to use the right colors. Now these are a bit uh, loose and we uh, did figure out that if you use the, uh, the tweezers and you just pop it in there and uh, it's just in and bend. In and bend. And that just pulls the banana plug open a bit, which increases its friction um, and makes it more secure in the terminal. So uh, just improve the, the banana plug there. And hopefully the solder is going to hold the wire in. We used ferrules into crimp spade terminals and one of them also has a, a screw and only one of them has a screw. Alright, now what's happening there? 
Ah, oh, there's a tool there. What sort of a tool is that? That's an icy picker upper. -er. Alright. Alright. Now let's try again. These should be fairly secure. They are. Great. This is our microphone. Now again, <coughs> the way this circuit works is when you uh, make noise into the microphone, it should stop the beeping if the noise is loud enough. I wonder if we could just hold the, uh, the microphone up to the buzzer. Let's try that. All right, so we need to turn power on. On we go. On we go. There we go. If I make if I make enough noise, if I make enough noise, if I make enough noise, Yeah, I don't like these ones that make a lot of racket. There we go. That seems to be turning it off and off again. If I make enough noise. If I make. If I make. If I. Oh, there we go. A, a, a big bang on the. It's not very... Test one, two. Testing, testing one, two. Test one, two. Test one, two. Test one, two. Test one, two. Dear me, it makes quite a racket. Um, I'm not convinced that uh, that our microphone's working properly. I just, I'm not feeling it. It seemed to me that when I jiggled these terminals, that... Uh, I think having gone to all the trouble to uh, to make these, I think I'm just going to uh, cut them off again. I think because uh, I don't think they're working very well, um, and I think I'd rather um, I'll just turn that soldering on off while I'm here. Oh, actually, I might leave it on because we'll. We could tin the ends of these guys. So I'm just going to chop off those uh, banana plugs and we'll put them in the scrap box. Um, and let's just strip some wire here. We just want to take some uh, some of the insulation off. I've got a old trusty over here, wire trimmer. Now this I'd say is, uh, yeah, 26 gauge. That could be about right. Let's try that. So uh, in we go for 26, about 10 mil. That's about right. There we go. And we'll do the same on the other side. At 26 gauge, about 10 mil. It's pretty good to me. All right, we can put this guy back. And let's... Uh, just twist these guys together there we go and twist these guys together as well all right so we'll twist them and then we'll tin them and then we'll use the screw terminals to give them a good solid uh, mechanical connection and hopefully uh, our, our microphone will be more effective when we've done that. 
Now there's a bit of solder here still that we need. All right. Now I think I might use my uh, third hand for this job. Hold him down here. All right. So we'll heat this guy up a bit and then dump some solar on there. Looks fairly good to me. And let's just switch the wires around so we can do the other one. Go and then a little bit of heat and a little bit of tinning. Very nice. All right. Now, should be done with the soldering iron there, so we'll just switch him off and we'll power him off down there as well. We can put our third hand away. Now, let's try uh, screwing this guy into with the screw terminals on the thing. So. There's one, just pop him up and pop him in and screw him up. There we go, that made good mechanical contact. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. There we go. And screw him down, no, he fell out. There we go. That might be better. Let's see. So we'll uh, turn him on and then we'll tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. If I speak loudly, if I speak loudly, will that turn it off? No, nah, voice doesn't seem to do it. But if you make a tapping noise, you can turn it off. So I suppose uh, the other thing we might do, um, there's not really much to see, uh, I think, on this circuit, um, but we might be able to get the audio frequency of the uh, of the A-stable multivibrator, which is making the tone, and we should be able to see that it's a square wave. So let's, let's see if we can do that. So we're going to need a... So I might just jump in there and end the video. As you can see, I, I spent the whole video installing the banana plugs. Uh, in the end, I chopped them off and I tinned the, uh, the ends. I got that into my circuit. That seemed to work fine. So that, that'll be coming out tomorrow, the video for that particular circuit that you saw there. In the end, today was just about the banana club... Uh, cl uh, the banana cables so um uh uh yeah that concludes this video uh thanks very much for watching and please remember to hit like and subscribe